Hello, and today we're continuing our rosacea series, and we are discussing our favorite pill for rosacea, which is doxycycline. Now, doxycycline is not for all types of rosacea. It's just for a couple. So let's go over the subtypes. Subtype one is erythematotelangiectatic, which means the flat flushing version of rosacea. Rosacea number two is papulopustular, which is acne rosacea. Subtype number three is phimatous, where you have an enlarged nose. And subtype number four is ocular, where you have eye irritation. So for doxycycline, this treats types two and four, the acne type of rosacea and the ocular type of rosacea. Now, if you have acne rosacea, doxycycline is not necessarily our first go-to. If you have a more mild case of acne rosacea, we start with topicals at first. Those topicals include Sulantra, Phenacea, which is azelaic acid, Metronidazole, which is a topical antibiotic, Protopic, which calms the inflammation, Amzeek, which is topical immunocycline, and Sulfur, which smells terrible, but it's a very good anti-inflammatory ingredient. If you've trialed a few of the topicals and they've not worked out, then we move on to doxycycline. Or if you have a case of acne rosacea that's just more moderate and you just know from the start a topical is not going to treat it, then we go on to doxycycline. Here we can see doxycycline is just a generic antibiotic. It can cause some stomach upset. Other times we can prescribe the brand name, which is Oratia. And that's a 40 milligram capsule, and it's less likely to cause stomach upset. And what is doxycycline? It is an antibiotic. It's a member of the tetracycline class along with minocycline, and it treats bacterial infections. But in dermatology, we use it a lot for acne and rosacea. It comes in a few different forms. You can take it as a capsule, as a tablet, or it even comes in liquid form. We don't use that as often though. In dermatology, we use it, like I said, for acne rosacea, but it can be used for infections, Lyme disease, malaria prevention, and the typical dose is 50 to 100 milligrams once or twice a day. And a note on dosing. So you may be saying, why am I taking an antibiotic for rosacea? Do I have a bacterial infection? And the answer is no. Doxycycline in particular, we use in a few different doses. So at higher doses, that is considered a antimicrobial dose. That's between about 100 and 200 milligrams a day. That is strong enough. It can kill bacteria and it can treat infections as well. For rosacea, we use very low doses. It's called sub-antimicrobial dose, meaning it's too weak to kill the bacteria. These are doses of between 20 to 40 milligrams a day. At this dose, it's considered an anti-inflammatory medication. So rosacea, your skin is inflamed, It treats that inflammation and calms it down. And we can use this dose for either acne or rosacea. And onto the practical aspect of how to take doxycycline. You take it with a full glass of water with or without food and avoid lying down immediately because we don't want it to cause any um, esophagitis or basically heartburn. When you take it, do not take it with antacids, magnesium, calcium, or iron that will inhibit the absorption of the medication. Common side effects, we see nausea quite often. Um, Sometimes it depends on how you take it, meaning with water or food. You can also get dizzy. You can get a headache. It may make you photosensitive, meaning that when you go outside, just be really good with your sunscreen because you may burn more frequently than you normally would. And then, of course, diarrhea, and some women are prone to yeast infections on this antibiotic. Side effects that are not common, you can get a ringing in the ears. You may have a tingling sensation, mostly on the hands. You can develop rashes. Or if you take it with Accutane, you can develop an increased pressure in the brain. So do not take with Accutane. Precautions about doxycycline. We already talked about wear your sunscreen and avoid prolonged sun exposure. If it makes you dizzy, don't drink. And because of the decreased effectiveness of hormonal birth control, you may want to consider using a secondary contraception method while you're taking. This is kind of contested though, but if you're worried about it, use a secondary method. Do not use this in pregnancy and do not use if you are a child under eight years old because it may discolor your teeth. Like we said, doxycycline is a generic antibiotic. If it does cause you belly upset when you take it, you may ask your provider to consider oratia, which is less likely to cause GI upset. Oratia is for rosacea. I don't know why it took me like eight years to put that together. Don't double up. Take it when you remember. If it's near your next dose anyway, then just take the next dose as you normally would. And that's it for toxicycline.